ASH experiment is one of psychology's oldest and most popular pieces of research. A volunteer is told that he's taking part in a visual perception test. What he doesn't know is that the other participants are actors and he's the only person taking part in the real test, which is actually about group conformity. Please begin. The experiment you will be taking part in today involves the perception of line length. Your task will be simply to look at the line here on the left and indicate which of the three lines on the right is equal to it in length. So, for example... If you the actors right have been told to match the wrong lines. The volunteer will be monitored to see if he gives the correct answer or if he goes along with the opinion of the group and gives the wrong answer. In the first test, the correct answer is to... Uh, one. 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 Two. One. Once again, the correct answer is two. Three. 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 The ASH experiment has been repeated many times and the results have been uh, supported again and again. We will conform to the group. Again, we're very social creatures. We're very much aware of what the people around us think. Uh, we want to be liked. We don't want to be seen to rock the boat, so we will go along with the group. Even if we don't believe what people are saying, we'll still go along. One. 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 Group dynamics is one of the most powerful forces in human psychology. The gentleman in the elevator now is a candid star. These folks who are entering, the man with a white shirt, the lady with a trench coat, and subsequently one other member of our staff, will face the rear. And you'll see how this man in the trench coat... <laughs> maintain his individuality but little by little he looks at his watch but he's really making an excuse for turning just a little bit more to the wall now we'll try it once again here's the candid subject here comes the candid camera staff three of them at least and uh, this man has apparently been in groups before. <laughs> Here's a fella with his hat on in the elevator. First he makes a full turn to the rear and Charlie closes the door. A moment later, we'll open the door. Everybody's changed positions. <laughs> now we'll see if we can use... Now we'll see if we can use group pressure for some good. Now, in a moment, on Charlie's signal, everybody turns forward. Notice, they take off their hats. And now, do you think we could reverse the procedure? Watch. NBC's sweeping new measures will extend current restrictions and add new provincial health orders. And after weeks of mounting pressure, masks will now be mandatory in all indoor public spaces. 
many business owners had been pleading for a mask order as some customers were still turning up without them. If it's mandatory by uh, BC, then we can strictly enforce the law and stop the person at the door. Now they will be mandatory and social gatherings will be restricted across the entire province. Well, I have a feeling um, that they'll use the age-old tactic of uh, you know, order out of chaos, or problem reaction solution. It could be a health pandemic, it could be an economic crash. They need something to, to get Canadians into this fear state.